whole this whole weight thing at 53 is <sighs> if I and I've said this before if I was to eat as much at like 20 or 30 even 40 that I eat now I would have been a bean pole I always weighed 105 you know 105 this whole put on weight thing and you know what I put on weight and then I stuck to it and I lost like 14 pounds then I put almost all of it back on oh my knee hurts oh going upstairs my knees just killing me age um what was I getting and then I started looking after my grandson oh, and I lost like six or seven pounds looking after him because you got a little kid now so there's no time to eat <laughs> but hey I looked after him there for I don't know six weeks or so before this virus started I want to put socks on uh, and I lost like six or seven pounds within like five weeks or so looking after him which was hey cool I'm gonna run off my feet drop into bed tired okay I need some pants oh, I need some pants pajama pants are fine excuse me and so then the Corolla virus Corolla Corona Corolla yes I'm gonna start naming it off a car now yes I am I had shorts on, pajama shorts, and I'm going to put pajama pants on. Uh, came along, and guess what? Yeah, you said it. You know. You know what I'm going to say. Boom! It's so maddening. It's so frustrating. And the gyms are closed. Yes, I was going to the gym. And I don't have a treadmill because my treadmill died. Oh, uh, um, so, now, ugh, I took a shower and I left my towel in here. Bad, eh? I'm laying my towel up the dry. Close my bedroom door. Hi, Serena. Hi, Serena. I'm going to hang it out here in the hallway over the banister to dry. Uh, it's so frustrating. You have no idea how many bags of salad I've ate. Yes, yeah, so I got clothes hanging there to dry. Excuse me. <laughs> it works. You gotta do what you gotta do. Nobody's in here anyways. So what's the difference? Um, I don't know. What's today? Saturday. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. You just keep working on it, I guess. It's like... <sighs> can't let the taste buds win over. It's not your stomach that wants the food. That reminds me. I've got stuff sitting here I gotta pick up. It's not your stomach that wants the food. It's the taste buds that enjoy the food, right? Your stomach can actually like not be hungry and but it's the taste buds. It's those senses, right? They go, oh my God, that smells so good. Or, oh my goodness, that would be so good. Like, so, truly, you're fighting against... Hi, Serena. You're fighting against your taste buds and those senses. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. <laughs> Those senses are pretty hard to fight about, fight about, fight against. They really are. <sighs> Hi, Arnold. Cats all over. Gotta watch where I'm going. But, anyways, I have a lot of yogurt in the fridge. I eat a lot of yogurt because I like to build up the good, you know, flora fauna <laughs> in the body. Yogurt, I have raspberries, I have frozen fruit, I have bags of frozen vegetables, but I haven't ate them because I had like three or four bags of salad that I was 
using up, I don't know. Anyways, it's, it's a constant now. It's a constant. That's the thing. It is a constant. Now at this age, it is just a constant. It's a never ending constant. It just doesn't even seem to matter how I fight it or what I do. It's a constant. But I just have to keep after it. I've got weight on again. Yeah. And I just have to, like, I just feel like i got to start all over again. <laughs> you know, you just want to live. That's like, holy shit. I just want to read. You know what I mean? I just want to read. Reading isn't going to take off any weight. <sighs> oh, well. Wish I had my treadmill. I actually loved my treadmill. I really, really miss it. I miss my treadmill. Goodness sakes. I had like about $1,200 sitting around. Oh, there'd be, a, there'd be another treadmill in the basement. There definitely would be. I'd just get up and be on that thing. I really love walking on the treadmill. I don't care if people say whatever they want to say about treadmills. I enjoyed it. It was calming. It was soothing. It was uh, zen. <laughs> whatever. I don't care if you think it's snowflake or whatever you want to say. Or hippie. I enjoyed it. It was almost like break time. It was an enjoyable time. I could just stand there and just walk on that thing two hours. Unless my back started to get to me because I get back pains really bad. That. But then I would break it up. I was like, okay, fine. I do half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour in the morning, and then do whatever I could. Half an hour, 45 minutes, an hour in the evening. It's just fine by me. But anyways, it's gone. I was 17 years old. I gave up the ghost. So I guess 17 years in treadmill years is 97. <laughs> or something like that. <sighs> ah, stupid. What do you call it? Hang on. What do you call that disappears as you get older? Metabolism. I couldn't think of the word. Stupid metabolism. See, that metabolism doesn't know. I probably went to Florida to retire. Yeah. It's going to end up with coronavirus. <laughs> Sixteen ninety nine, pretty gay. Costco, cheapest place to get them. Sixteen ninety nine. I saw them at La Coco's, like less than half the size of these, and they wanted thirteen ninety nine. Uh, no, I can't afford it. But that's besides the point. Look at them. Look. Ah, I want more. Honestly, I want more so bad every time. I just, just, I want to go get more so bad. No idea. I want to go get more. They're going to go outside once it gets warm enough. They won't be left in here. Oh, I want to buy more. It's really hard. I can't afford it. Couldn't afford these two. But man, I want to get more. They're so... Beautiful. You ever seen the videos on YouTube about why the poor are poor and the rich are rich? <laughs> this is why the poor are poor. They pick up beautiful little objects like this to enjoy to put on their fence. And yeah, I could pick up a, like a whole bunch of them. Really good. I like it. Like I think it's pretty. And you can say it's a waste of money, but I just, I think it's pretty. I can see it from inside. And I'm not sorry you bought it. Now, look at that. There's the moon. It's 7.45 p.m. There's the moon out.
each other and they race each other and they fly after one another they're just young eh you can tell they're not very big at all I wonder I guess they're from last year because we had a lot of new ones born last year they're eaten the little shoots off the tree right now. So you can see him bending them up, pulling the little shoots off. Buds, I guess. I gotta 